I finally have an excuse to get into all of the various sim games that I've been wanting to for ages. And that's because Lenovo sponsored this video with their R45W-30 Super Ultra Wide Lenovo Legion Monitor. And so I use this as an opportunity to build out a flight sim rig, which allows us to take full advantage of this super ultra wide monitor that we have here, because this thing has the resolution of essentially two 1440p monitors side by side. But as you can see, there is no bezel that's in the middle. The spec sheet on this thing is incredibly impressive. It comes in at 5120 by 1440 for the resolution. It has display HDR 400 certification, that 32 by nine aspect ratio that I mentioned, and it comes in at 170 Hertz. So you get not only a huge resolution, but also a high refresh rate as well, allowing you to overclock the monitor. That resolution allows you to take full advantage of the games getting FPS, maybe, maybe not in Star Citizen like I'm playing here, but in lighter titles that run a little bit easier, you definitely be able to hit that 170 Hertz with the proper hardware. But while it is display HDR 400, it also has support for up to 450 nits of brightness. But I think one of my favorite things about this monitor is that yes, it is a super ultra wide, essentially two monitors side by side, but it comes in at a very compact size. So typically when you're looking at these 5120 by 1440 monitors, what you find is that they're 49 inches usually, but instead what you find is that the Lenovo Legion monitor here puts it all into a much more compact frame of only 45 inches, meaning that you have a higher pixel density, allowing you to get more pixels per inch and have that same resolution look crisper because all of those pixels are jammed together. You add on to that, it has a 1500 R curve and you can easily become immersed in any sim rig that you're trying to set up, especially because it looks like you have two monitors side by side, but without the bezel. Immersion at its finest with a high resolution, compact curved screen that you can have mounted right in front of you. But besides gaming, the R45W-30 has a few tricks up its sleeve that make it incredible for not just the high refresh rate aspects, but also for day-to-day -day use. So you can see that we have it in its 32 by nine aspect ratio. It's essentially two screens jammed side by side, but it has a helpful little feature that's baked into the actual menu here called True Split, which allows you to have it as two different monitors side by side. So it can have that as two different screens from only one single input. You see from the menu bar in Windows, it's acting as two different displays rolled all into one, and that's running off of a single display port cable. And it has multiple modes. You can choose to have it directly side by side as if you had two 1440p monitors right next to each other, or in case you wanna have like a chat up, have Discord next to whatever gaming thing you have, you can actually move that second monitor to be slightly more compact, allowing you to game and have all of your social interactions set up with one seamless uninterrupted interrupted display. But in case you want to add in more inputs, instead of just having one computer going to two different monitors in the same super ultra wide, it also supports picture in picture and picture by picture. So you can easily have two different sources set up side by side. I have my laptop hooked up right here. I have my gaming PC here on the left. I can have display port, the HDMI on the left, on the right, choose however, which way I want it, as well as many versatile options for picture in picture as well. So a lot of versatility on that front. It also has has KVM support for you to be able to use multiple different PCs, all from the single USB hub that's at the back, or it also supports a USB-C docking station with one single USB-C cable. You can plug it into a laptop and then have that display go out to the monitor that you see here. You have two three watt speakers built in in case you want to use the onboard audio, one millisecond of the mean pixel response time. And it also does come with a stand where you can do a height adjustable setup. I chose to put it on a vase amount in order to have it part of our flight sim rig, but you truly have a lot of versatility when it comes to this monitor. Whether that's for immersive gaming like we have here with our Star Citizen setup, or potentially just for having side-by-side -side monitors without having the bezel. And one of the benefits is that you don't have to have it on two separate vase amounts. We have it on a single one right here, allowing us to get the immersion in this game in a 1500R curve display, a single curve across one single monitor instead of having two monitors that you have to try to line up perfectly. The Lenovo Legion R45W-30 is gonna do that for you. So you can check it out at the link in the video description. Super ultra wide gaming is not something that I thought I would be as into as I am. And I'm thankful that Lenovo sent this over for me to check out and to be able to finally build the rig of our dreams. Let me know if you want me to do a follow-up video on this rig setup, which we have obviously for Star Citizen, but we're also thinking about potentially getting into racing sims as 
well. And so we're planning on repurposing this monitor for whatever SIM setup that we're going to have because just super ultra wide, having this large immersive screen is uh, honestly brilliant. So big thanks to Lenovo for sponsoring this video. Check them out down below and we'll see you in the next video, friends.